Today we're going to be taking a look at the DC Direct Blackest Night Series 6 Green Lantern Hal Jordan action figure, so stay tuned. Alright guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, where all geek culture collides, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Today we're taking a look at the DC Direct Blackest Night Series 6 Green Lantern Hal Jordan action figure. Now, first thing I want to point out with this figure is the display stand. The peg on the display stand should be a little bit further over this way because with the peg being where it's at right there, he pretty much has one foot uh, slightly hanging off the side of the uh, display space, display stand. He doesn't really stand very centered. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the display stand. It is a translucent green plastic with the white decals to shape the Green Lantern logo. Does have the peg on there, which is... Uh, I really like this color of green for the stand. Not sure how that's uh, doing, but let's. It says DC Comics made in China. So next, the next accessory we have here is Hal Jordan's lantern. Now, one thing, this is pretty much the same sculpt as all the other uh, Green Lantern, as all the other lanterns in um, mainly the DC Universe toy line. The only difference is that instead of being completely green inside, it does have clear lens to the inside of the battery, which is a nice touch. Uh, however, the handle for the lantern does not like to stay in place. And that's with all of the um, Blackest Night uh, lanterns in the toy line. Uh, I kind of wish they would have maybe used the same shade of green that they used on Hal Jordan on this lantern. It is a slight difference, but still a noticeable difference. So now with Hal Jordan, I really like the green on this figure. Uh, I wish they would go about and use this shade of green on all their Green Lantern figures. Uh, not just in the Blackest Night toy line, but throughout all the toy lines. I, I really like it. it. It just pops. It does, The other ones have this forest green uh, shading to it. And I don't really care for that. I prefer this emerald green look. So as you can tell, this is the Hal Jordan from the Blackest Night. He does not have the white temples like he did uh, previously. Uh, very nice muscle sculpt on this guy. You can see pretty much every rib, uh, every ab every muscle in the chest very nicely the green lantern symbol itself is uh sculpted to ra uh, raised up above the chest rather than just being painted on like some of the other figures uh the ring itself is also sculpted on which is pretty nice i like the opal style white paint they have for the gloves and the boots have the same style green as up here now there isn't a whole lot of articulation with this guy uh, or with any of the uh, lanterns from the toy line you have his head can go up down uh, 
slightly rock side to side. It can turn both ways. I'm not going to force it because I don't play with my toys. I buy them, I take a look at them, I set them on my shelf. So the joints are going to be pretty stiff. I don't want to risk breaking them uh, like John did with my uh, Blue Lantern St. Walker during the uh, Blackest Night toy line review uh, about a year ago. Um, so if, it's, if it doesn't move, I'm not going to force it. Uh, I will try going over articulation as best as possible, though. You got a hinge at the shoulder, make the arm go up that far, back down, roll it up all the way around, a swivel for the bicep. You got a single hinge at the elbow and you have a swivel joint at the wrist and that's same for both sides the legs got a standard hinge right at the groin go up about that far cannot go back though his butt is kind of blocking it uh he has a standard single knee joint uh however it can only go up about that far and back down he does have a calf swivel uh, and that's on both legs and that is it for articulation sadly um so you can't really get very very many poses out of this guy or as i said any of the uh, lanterns in the blackest night toy line so and you can kind of fit his lantern into his hand however you do have to be careful because this will pop out uh, that is probably the best way though to fit it into his hand is to take the actual handle off slide it through his hand so you don't break anything and then Try to pop it right back on. Uh, they they really could have done the lanterns a lot better. I'm almost tempted to get some super glue and just glue them in there all together. But there you have it, guys. The DC Direct Blackest Night Series 6 Green Lantern Hal Jordan action figure. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. I'm Shannon for Comic TV. Take care.